Hi guys. Um, not my normal time, I know, but the kids are outside with dad. Um, so I figured I would take this opportunity to pop in, um, before 10 o'clock at night. Um, so my clearance order finally showed up. Um, it was in a non sensi box. So, um, it did appear that my my original box probably got wet or damaged or whatever. Um, so they did rebox it for me um, and send everything in. So I did a small, small haul for the last clearance update. And then I figure I will also re-sniff these bars with you because I can now breathe through my nose, which is really nice. Um, and give you my honest opinion of at least two of the bars because my borrow bag went out. So, all right. Um, let's see here. First and foremost, we'll just start with a couple of non-wax items because mostly what I got was bars, like usual. Uh, but I did get a set of the It's Love body cream and hand cream. This is one of Haley's all-time favorite fragrances. It is in my club. I did grab a couple extras <laughs> anyways because it's in clearance. Um, and this is still there. So these products are still there. This is awesome. But Haley is always trying to steal my body cream from me. Um, so if I get out my body cream or whatever and I'm putting on lotion, she always wants to put lotion on too. So now she has her own. Okay. Um, we went a little It's Love crazy because I also picked up another fragrance flower in It's Love. This was an amazing, amazing performer. Um... In terms of the fragrance flower, it was on my desk, and wow, I mean, like, even after the, the oil had gone away, it was still really, really strong. And I'm trying to, like, scroll through all of clearance over here on my iPad so I can get you guys the scent description. But, okay, so it's Tangy Tangerine Dancers with Raspberry Blossom Beneath a Night Sky of Sparkling Sugar. This, this bar is awesome. It is so good. It was by far our favorite, favorite one from the Valentine's Day collection. So I did end up picking up two more bars of it because while it is in my club, I did put it in my quarterly club. So I'll only get four bars a year. And this, like I said, this is one of Haley's favorite fragrances. It's a go-to fragrance for her. It's, it's really good. So it's, it's kind of got almost like a little tart, um, kind of fizzy type deal to it, but it's, it's amazing. So I love it in the fragrance flower. She loves it in her room. <coughs> okay. Other bars I picked up was Toffee Butter Crunch. This one did indeed sell out. This is a really, really good bakery. Again, another one that I have in my club, but I wanted a couple more because literally as soon as it comes in, we melt this bar. And it's just a really nice, like toff, it smells like Heath bar basically. Um, so in the fall, we do have salted caramel toffee. This one is not quite as intense as the salted caramel toffee. So it's just a really nice light toffee um, kind of fragrance. I love that in the kitchen. It's a really good mixer. Um, so those were the two bars that were in my club that I picked up. And then I grabbed three other fragrances. So uh, we'll start with Blackberry Meringue. This one did sell out instantly, almost. Um, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with Blackberry Meringue. Um, it, like, I do like the Blackberry scents, and I think probably what I will end up doing with this is mixing it with the vanilla Blackberry, because I really thought this was going to have, um, like a really good tart Blackberry with maybe just a little hint of sweetness in it. And it's really, I don't know, it's kind of blah. <laughs> it's kind of blah, I'm gonna be honest. There's not enough blackberry on this for me. And maybe the meringue is why it's kind of got a weird note. But I am, I'm not impressed with this one, so this is not one I would be voting for or purchasing again for Bring Back My Bar. Um, let's see, the next one up, let's, they're both S's, so I can scroll down to that. So these two are still available. Let's start with Silhouette. Um, so Silhouette is still available in the clearance section and it says Heliotrope and Orange Blossoms with Whispers of Lavender and Patchouli. So they had me at Patchouli. Um, there, in my two years with Sensi, there's only been one other fragrance that had patchouli in it and it was Ghostly Greetings and they love patchouli. Um, not, it's not everybody's gig, but 
This is awesome. This is so good. Um, let's see. So the patchouli is not super forward, but it does kind of give it like an earthy, musky. I will be getting more of this because this is awesome. Um, it's slightly perfumey, but not like powdery perfumey. It's just kind of like a, a sexy cologne type smell. Oh, this is amazing. I need more. I, I will be placing another clearance order because it's still in there. But this is really good. And then you get like just a little hint of like fruity citrus in the back. But it's, this one's to die for. Absolutely love this Silhouette Bar. I did pick up two. Normally when I do bars, I do two because if I'm doing the whole, um, both living rooms downstairs, then I need two bars in order to fill all the warmers. And then the last one that I grabbed was two bars of Spring Forward. So let's see here. Spring Forward. Okay. This one also is still available. It says, if sunshine had a scent, it would be a burst of Italian bergamot, raspberry jam, and cedarwood. So, you guys know I like all the woodsies. And this is really good, too. Um, this is sweeter. This is definitely sweeter. I get the bergamot. And you don't distinctly get raspberry out of this. But you do get, like, that fruity sweetness. And it's a whole different, like, this is more of a body care, like, really high-end, like, woman's body care type. Of, like, I could totally 100% see this being a Victoria's Secret scent. It's that good. And it's super, like, romantic and musky and deep. This is very bright. It's very springy. That's your what is to die for. It's, like, the perfect combination of cedarwood and like bright zesty spring scents. So this is awesome. This is really good. So I will be putting in another order because these are still available and I could totally do a six pack of each of those and not be sad in the least. So uh, do, 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 do. let's take a look at the two Father's Day bars I do have on hand and then I'm gonna bust open this sandalwood tangerine um, because I didn't really get to smell it at all. Um, the four bars that are in there are vanilla bourbon, not my jam, super fall, super bourbon heavy. Um, if you like spicy scents, vanilla bourbon is for you. Um, if you don't, uh, I would skip that. And this is James's body wash. So I'm just going to take the plastic off of it so we can sniff this because like I said, I already lent out my bar <laughs> for a good sniff session. Um, so I haven't really gotten a chance to smell this because courtesy of said sinus infection, um, it really kicked our butts this past week. Like I was down and out for days. Not, not a fun one, not a fun one. So I'm glad to be getting kind of back to normal now. Um, and then the other bar that I'm missing from this is My Dear Watson. Um, I've had My Dear Watson in the past. I can tell you it's like a, it's a, like a Hollister clone. Um, for sure. It is a Hollister cologne. It is your straight, like, manly, cologne kind of soapy scent. Um, so the first one I'm pulling up here is Route 66. This is really good. Um, if you do not like super overpowering, straight, like, soapy cologne scents, but you do like the masculine scents, this is awesome. So this is a breeze of citrus, herbs, and musk. You really get that citrus zing. It just makes it smell clean and fresh and inviting. This is beautiful. So Route 66 will be joining my club for sure. Um, I'm debating about whether or not I'm going to put my dear Watson back in there because it's kind of similar to Mystery Man. I really do like it, but this is different. This is a different kind of cologne. It's not something that we have. And then the other one is business casual and this is definitely different this is more like man in the garage smell so this is cardamom caraway lively pepper fragrant woods and a powdery wisp of orange blossom i get i don't get any orange um and you just get like a little depth from that pepper note 
This is unique. This is definitely a really good, unique scent. I've got to get both of these under my brother-in-law's nose because literally the only manly scent that he likes is sheer leather. But I think he might actually go for this one. I've got to get him hooked on a new scent because, you know, I only get sheer leather four times a year. So, you know, it's it's really, really good. Um, and then the last one, this new fragrance. So even though it's part of the Father's Day collection, it is considered, it's supposed to be kind of like a unisex fragrance. And it's sandalwood tangerine. And I know it's not going to be quite as probably strong in the body wash as it would be in the bar. Ooh. So this is white cedar, a spritz of tangerine, and sandalwood. This is really... James is going to like that one. This is the cream shave soap. I think I'm going to bust into the fragrance mist. Um, because I did show you guys the, the grill warmer. Um, sorry, it's a smoker, but I did, <laughs> it is, it's super cute. We did the full big bundle because the deal on it was like, you got all five bars for free. When you purchase the, the warmer with the body stuff, you it basically got all the bars for free. And I was like, why would we not do that? Because I'm going to get the bars anyways. I'm going to get the warmer anyways, and I'm going to get the body anyways. So, all right, let's give this a go. This is nice. Okay, so you definitely get that really nice, like, tangerine. And that sandalwood gives it a whole new thing. Hello. Yeah, totally an androgynous scent. I would wear this 100% all the time. This is really good. I like it. I definitely like it. He will like it too, but he probably, honestly, he won't use fragrance mist. He will use the body wash. We will melt the wax. This is good. This is, again, it's a very different, unique, manly combination. It's not just your straight, like, men's soap, men's cologne. But, oh, this is so different. I love these. These are so good. So, um, yay. Absolute yay. <coughs> um... Okay, so that's all the new stuff that I got in. And like I said, I had this the other day, but it was it was a waste. It was a waste for me to try to smell it with you guys. Um, so I'm actually kind of, at the end of the day, I'm really glad um, that this ended up showing up a little bit later because I would have been super sad and now I need more. So um, the stuff for the June Mystery Box did ship. Uh, with the holiday, it was didn't ship out quite as quickly as it normally does they, since he was closed for the holiday. So they're getting caught back up. God, ooh, God. I need this. I need this in my life, a lot of it. But um, So that should be forthcoming. It has shipped as soon as it arrives. I will be sure to do the quick, quick turnaround um, and get everything out to you guys. Uh, we did pick up a sixth for the 10-bar bundle, so I will be reaching out. Um, about that with you guys tomorrow via direct messenger once she has a chance to kind of browse through take a look at some fragrances and so on and so forth but I really appreciate you guys hanging with me this week keeping things going in the group this week because I was sleeping probably 90% of the time so thank you very much you guys I will talk to you all later bye bye